summer snow When it falls on you, your blood runs cold But don't you sweat your pretty skin Cause it melts away for it's in And you dream about this very night When the moon runs down the summer sky Could it be the morning of the spring When the sea runs dry, we start to say Never feel like going back, but nothing seemed to be a drag. Right until your legs gave way, and you cried and got back up again. And it's real to think that I could fly, cause a broken bridge in the fading light. Never thought I had on my two feet. That means maple syrup season officially begun. Or at least we officially started spending money on the season. Now we can head back to the homestead. I had to run to the chiropractor this morning and have coffee with a friend. So let's head back and we'll check the maple trees, see if the sap's flowing. If it's not, we can work on the PPM, the pastured pig mobile, guys. <laughs> the PPM. I wonder if we can get that to catch on or not. The barn delivery video is going really well. Like I said, once we get that to 50,000 video views, I'll do a video on the plans and the design. The next question is, would you guys like a tour of where they built the barn kit? I can arrange that if we'd like to go see that. So leave it in the comments down below. Let me know if that's something you all would like to see. I'm thinking it'd be pretty fun always have a worse day guys we could be getting a flat tire there it is guys the barn just waiting for nicer weather let's see if the sap's flowing yet No, nothing yet. That means we get to work on the PPM. Oh, morning figs. What are you up to? Switch over our blade to cut our roofing material. If we keep this blade on, we'll just splinter and shatter the material we're using for the roof. So I'm going to put on a metal cutting blade. It's not what we need, but it works really well, I found, for cutting this kind of roof.
That gave it a nice cut. I like that edge. Figaro, what are you gonna do when I put the roof on there? You're gonna lose your perch. You're gonna be so sad. We did get a little bit of snow last night. Uh, so that means we gotta clean the snow off our strapping. It's melting, but not fast enough. Get the bit in the drill and a oh, pocket full of these little roof screws. The closest color I could get to white was gray. The pigs won't mind. figure out the exact overhang I'm assuming that it's gonna be two feet pretty close to each piece so that means if we built everything right all right we're gonna end up with like an inch overhang on each side, I take it. Let's see. So what happens if we do this? Ooh, that'd work. Oh, I think that'll work out perfectly, guys. I like it. Just want to make sure everything's sitting nice and flat. It seems to be. <sighs> stickers, stickers. Oh, we love stickers. At least they kind of match the color of the roof.
They say chickens don't like snow because they can't tell like depth perception. And I never got that one. Until I'm doing dealing with this white roof. It's corrugated. And when you it messes with your eyes it being white and you can't find exactly where all the lines are. I forgot to pick up a ridge cap. I'm not going to be screwing that top in until we get the ridge cap. Shouldn't have to worry about stickers. Let's see what our overhang is. Oh, five eighths of an inch. drill All right, let's get the first one set Here we have just under inch and a half. So we need that for an overhang. Gotta find out what the bottom overhang is now. What's that look like? That's good there. As long as we're good here, I'm gonna call it. Every time, what the heck guys? Right on top of my other screw. That happens quite a bit. I like it right there. Ready? Screws. So now I need to get a ridge cap. That'll keep it dried in nicely. We're getting so close guys. We'll be ready for the chicks when they come. We'll be able to use this for the chicks until May. And then once we go to get our piglets, we're gonna have a perfect home for the piglets. I chose white roofing because we're gonna be keeping pigs in here mainly in the summertime and pigs do not do good in the heat. So I'm thinking the white roof will help reflect the sunlight and that should keep the pasture pig mobile cooler inside where if we did a darker color roof, say green or black, that's just gonna heat up inside quicker. 
So I was excited to see that they had the white one. Oh, everything's melting. I love it. Did you notice the PPM? Yeah. Oop. What do you think of the roof? I like it. I like how, is it white? Yep. You got plenty of hay. I don't even need to go in and check. Yeah. You got plenty of hay. You like the warm day? Yeah, that's nice, huh? Hopefully we melt a lot of snow in the next couple of days. Yeah. Is it nice not having to wear a winter coat? Yeah. Well, he is coming. You're sinking. Yeah. Oh, look at all the eggs. They're dirty. But we got a lot of them. Being hunted and he don't even know it. Not flowing yet. Wow. That surprises me. That was one of our best trees last year too. All right, Tana, we gotta go to the vet. How much do you think he's gonna weigh, Olivia? How, how much did he weigh last time? I think seven, seven, seven and a half pounds. Um, I think he's gonna weigh close to 15. Close to 15, holy moly! I was gonna say 10, not 15. Well, so we'll, we'll see who's, we'll see who's closer. Yeah, well he has been getting more food. He has been. You ready? He's like, no. He's like, yes, but no. Yes, but no, I don't want to go in. We want to know how much you weigh. Don't you want to find out how much you weigh? Like 12 to 15 pounds. Hello. 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 <laughs> Over there. Look. There it is. Oh, good job. Oh, oh, oh poor Pete got to go oh, there. Come here. Where is it? There we go. What do we got? Oh, no. Ah. Oh. Ready? I'm gonna eat it over here. There we go. Much better. 11, what, 10.8? 10.7. Not quite 12, huh? <laughs> well, yeah, it was almost, it was like It was 11. almost. Oh, now he wants on there. Oh, did you get all your shots, Tanner? He's like, yeah, but they gave me peanut butter, so I'm okay with it. Tanner did good. He got three shots today. <coughs> yeah, don't worry, Pluto. You didn't miss out on anything. Just a couple of shots. <coughs> Love it when you have leftovers you can cook up. Makes dinner so much faster.
Got a good egg haul today. I would have bet money on it that we would have been boiling sap today and making maple syrup. I can't believe the trees haven't started flowing with this maple sap yet. <sighs> Ran out first thing this morning and went and got propane just intentionally for that. I'm surprised. I'm not sure if it's because we have so much snow or if it's because there's a layer of ice between the snow and the ground or what's going on. But it was almost 60 degrees out today and the sap never started flowing. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of year this is for making maple syrup. Well, thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a true blessing to our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.